powerful testimony on Capitol Hill, Senator Martha McSally revealed that she was raped while serving in the military. McSally shared her own experience as Congress attempts to find a way to stop the widespread problem of military sexual assaults. Mary Maloney explains from Washington. I was preyed upon and then raped by a superior officer. Senator Martha McSally sharing her story of survival during a hearing on sexual assaults in the military. I blame myself. I was ashamed and confused. And I thought I was strong, but felt powerless. McSally was the first American woman to fly in combat. During her career with the Air Force, she rose to the rank of colonel before retiring. But she'd almost left the Air Force earlier because of her despair. Like many victims, I felt the system was raping me all over again. According to the Department of Defense, in 2017, the military received nearly 7,000 reports of sexual assaults involving service members. But many Unlike victims many suffer survivors. in silence. I didn't report being sexually assaulted. Like so many women and men, I didn't trust the system at the time. A recent Smithsonian poll found that about two-thirds of current and former female service members experienced sexual harassment or assault. Sexual assault in the military is still pervasive. Within the past decade, the Department of Defense has dedicated more resources to preventing unwanted sexual conduct, supporting survivors, and prosecuting sexual offenders. But more work needs to be done. I'm honored to be here and use my voice and unique experience to work on this mission and stop military sexual assault for good. In Washington, I'm Mary Maloney reporting.